Is anyone here from the United States of America? Any Americans here? There's usually quite a few this time of year. Welcome home. <laughs> <laughs> Just think, if you'd have paid your tax, all this history would belong to you, wouldn't it? <laughs> Well, good morning. Morning. And we're about to go in the Tower, Tower of, of London. London. That's that behind me. It's nearly a thousand years old now. Really? I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, William the Conqueror built the White Tower. Just to clarify, over there, that is Tower Bridge, which is just over a hundred years old. <laughs> and that is Tower of London, which is nearly a thousand years old and I think we're going to have a tour with a beef eater. Are we? Yeah. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. My name's Yeoman Warder Matt Prime. I'm one of the 37 Yeoman Warders. I have the privilege to live and work here at the tower. I'm going to be your guide. What we're going to do is going to go around the tower. I'm going to point out some of the more historic buildings and then I will tell you a little bit about their history. Our story here goes way back to the year 1066 when William, the Duke of Normandy, William the Conqueror, defeats the Anglo-Saxon King Harold at the Battle of Hastings. your step now. My step? Yeah. Why? By traitor's gate. Okay. <laughs> what have I done? Being disloyal to the crown. Okay. Yeah. What's the punishment for that? Um, off with my head? Off with your head, yeah. We're just going up to the bloody tower. Okay. I'm not swearing, the bloody tower's over there. Okay. <laughs> Behind me, the famous traitor's gate, originally just known as the water gate, just used to bring in stores, gold bullion, soldiers, etc. His name was changed to the Traitor's Gate in the Tudor period because of the many traitors who would come here straight from their trials at the Palace of Westminster. They'd have been found guilty of treason and they'd be sentenced to death. They'd be loaded onto a small open barge and rowed down the cold, dark waters of the Thames. People would gather on the side of the bridge to boo and jeer them. They'd get more and more nervous. Then through the river mist would appear the mighty battlements of the Tower of London. Just when they thought they couldn't get any more nervous, they'd be rowed through this dark tunnel, through these original gates, up the original steps to here. This for me, and I really hope for you, this is where history starts to come alive. Well, we've just been to see the crown jewels. Very impressive. It was very good. How does it compare to your collection of jewels? Um, I think... It is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that because you bought me half of them? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you've got a diamond that's 500 carats. Was it 500 carats? Uh, yeah. The, the one in the orb? Uh, yeah. Mm. That's, uh, an impressive collection of jewellery there. And uh, a nice crown or two. <laughs> So that's um, Henry VIII's armour. I like his uh, cod piece. I suppose that's so he doesn't get his Hampton Court. There, that is the entrance to the bloody tower. Downstairs, we'll tell you the story of how we imprisoned uh, one of our most famous sailors, Sir Walter Raleigh, in that room for 13 years. Upstairs, we'll tell you more information on the disappearance and the murder of the two boy princes. If you move around further, though, this tower here, this amazing tower here, the Beecham Tower, that is open to the public and you must visit it. It's where some of the high value prisoners were kept. To apply for this amazing job, you must have served a minimum of 22 years in the Manchester Armed Forces, been a Sergeant Major or the equivalent if you're in the Navy or the Air Force, and been awarded a medal for never having been caught 
committing any crimes or anything naughty. And you can apply to come here. It's a fantastic job. So when you see the Yeoman Warders, feel free to interact with them. You can tell, tell us that you've lost your iPad and all your children. We'll sort all that out. It's part of the job. It's not, part, not the best part of the job, by far. The best part of the job is if you've read a book, or you've watched a documentary or seen a film, or you want to know about this amazing place, ask one of the Yoma Warders. Some have been here 10, 20 years, and they love this place, and they'll be more than happy to tell you about it. So what did you think of that, Marcus? It's very really good. It's better than I thought, I remember. Yes. It tends to do. Yeah, there's definitely enough for most of the day, really. Crown jewels. It was very good. Good. Lots of big diamonds. Yeah, it tends to a little exhibitions and everywhere, everywhere you go, there's a little display or a little museum. I really enjoyed the... The beef eater. The beef eater at the oh, beginning. Oh, yeah, he's quite funny. I didn't realise that they kept lions and tigers and elephants here? Yeah, up until the um, 1800 something, up until they started London Zoo. They and then, keep... Yeah, and then they moved them to London Zoo then. Yeah, to, to that's why if you're wondering why there's random <laughs> monkeys and <laughs> elephants around. Thumbs up um, for me, definitely worth it. Yeah, me. thumbs up. Thumbs up. And if you want more exciting excursions in the UK, and overseas don't forget to subscribe. follow us subscribe subscribe yeah that's one subscribe and all that social media palaver <laughs> and remember no time for enjoyment document and move on and that's what we're going to do now move on